After an unceremonious exit from the COVID-19 vaccine race, Merck & Co. has been sizing up opportunities to lend its expertise to the fight. Now, it's sewn up a deal to boost supplies of Johnson & Johnson's shot and scored government funding to see the unlikely partnership through. The HHS, Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority, BARDA, will chip in up to $268.8 million to upgrade and leverage two of Merck's U.S. plants to produce J&J's adenovirus-based vaccine. Merck's tie-up with J&J's Janssen unit, announced Tuesday at the White House, will see the vaccine giant chip in on drug substance, formulation and vial filling for J&J's single-dose shot. Webinar using AI and RWD to uncover rare disease insights, accelerate commercialization and improve patient outcomes Wednesday, March 24, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. PT Learn how IPM.AI transformed real-world data into real-world insights to assist audentes in their development of AT132 for the treatment of XLMTM. The session reviews how IPM, IA and Audentes collaborated to uncover the XLMTM patient population. During the first days of the Biden administration, officials realized J&J &J was lagging on its production targets, prompting a government-brokered tie-up, The Washington Post reported Tuesday. The wartime effort could potentially double Johnson & Johnson's expected shot capacity, officials said, though Merck's support won't come immediately. It could take around two months to get the fill finish plant up and running, and several months more for the plant making vaccine substance, an unnamed source familiar with the process told The Post. Related, J&J's next COVID-19 vaccine challenge? Hurdling the 66% perception to win over a vaccine-hesitant public armed with BARDA funding, Merck will adapt and make available two existing manufacturing sites to speed up vaccine production. The upgrades will also prep the plants to make COVID-19 therapeutics. Merck will receive $105 million from BARDA to start, issued via the Defense Production Act, to convert, upgrade and equip its facilities to turn out Johnson & Johnson's shot. President Joe Biden invoked the act to speed access to materials for production, such as equipment, machinery and supplies like single-use bags, the HHS said in a release. Related, Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccine scores FDA authorization, adding key third shot to U.S. supply when reached for comment, Merck couldn't say when manufacturing might start or which specific facilities were being tapped in the effort. Johnson & Johnson's vaccine passed muster with the FDA over the weekend. The company, leaving no stone unturned to boost production, to hear CEO Alex Gorski tell it, had 4 million doses to ship at launch, and before the Merck tie-up had planned 20 million total for March and 100 million by the end of June.